Before buying an air conditioner, refrigerator, freezer, or any cooling device whatsoever, the major question to ask is what's the compressor type? These devices are always in three different designs, single speed or regular type, inverter type, and low voltage. In this video, we'll be comparing all three types and what to expect from any device that feature each compressor type because you see, the compressor is the heart of the device and will determine how durable and effective that refrigerator, air conditioner or freezer would be. We'll be comparing based on cooling speed, power consumption, weight and size, durability and effect, overall lifespan and most importantly, cost. Before we continue, remember to subscribe for helpful advice and product reviews that help you avoid buying mistakes. Also watch out for discount links on the description for fridges, ACs and freezers we recommend from research and user feedback. So let's dive in. The compressor basically sets the system in motion like a hat. So whether you enjoy that fridge, freezer or AC would depend on the compressor type. The most common type which is the single speed or normal compressor has nothing special. It runs on a fixed single speed of about 3600 rpm and when the desired temperature of cooling is achieved, it goes off and as soon as the temperature rises again, it comes back on and it repeats the cycle over and over again. You know a device has this kind of compressor if it continuously turns on and off at regular intervals. Also because it's constant speed, it produces a lot of noise and vibration. The inverter type compressor on the other hand uses a variable speed motor. So the speed of the compressor can constantly be adjusted according to temperature of the environment being cooled. Unlike the normal compressors that simply goes off and on, running in full capacity, the inverter type uses an inverter circuit through a motor controller to adjust the compressor speed according to temperature. That means the compressor almost never runs at full capacity. It would rather run slower and maintain the temperature rather than run at full capacity and then turn off and on again. This is why inverter ACs, fridges and freezers are more silent, energy saving and produce less vibration. The low voltage compressors on the other hand are much like the inverter compressors but can run on as low as 170 volt. They are designed specially for third world countries with power issues. So which is better? In terms of cooling speed, we are talking about the amount of time it would take to achieve the desired cooling temperature when switched on. Normal compressors, fridges and ACs cool faster because they run on full and fixed speed and can deliver full speed instantly. The inverter and low voltage type would constantly lower the compressor speed as the temperature drops until it stabilizes. This takes a longer time compared to the normal compressor type, but the operation is smoother, gradual and more stable. Most inverter ACs and fridges would give you an option for fast freeze or fast cooling that simply drives the compressor to full capacity at first. But this option isn't always available and isn't designed for continuous use. So if you own a cold room business where perishable items are involved and would often need to be cooled instantly, the normal single speed compressor would be a good investment. You just need to deal with the humming sound and regular maintenance procedures. The single speed type is the winner here. When when it comes to power consumption, appliances with a single speed or normal compressors deliver full power to the compressor instantly while running. That means the entire load of the compressor must be carried by the power supply. Also the starting power to get the compressor running each time it goes off and on must be supplied. On the other hand, the inverter compressor almost never runs on full speed or consume the full power it's meant to because it has a motor controller to adjust the compressor speed according to desired temperature and save a lot of electricity bills. Also Considering that the compressor is powered by a BLDC motor via an inverter circuit, starting current and voltage aren't really much of an issue. In inverter split unit ACs, the inverter circuit board also controls the outdoor fan speed within 400 to 950 rpm alongside the compressor. The speed is also regulated according to temperature to save energy. Unlike the single speed type that uses a single speed outdoor fan that constantly runs at 800 rpm and goes off with the compressor adding to the starting power requirement. This makes inverter ACs, fridges and freezers up to 40% more power saving than regular designs. So if you need an AC fridge or freezer for your home, especially if you're in neighborhoods or countries with high electricity charges. Avoid any device with single speed compressor. 
Also, if you have an off-grid power supply, probably solar or a small generator set, inverter compressors would serve you well. Good examples are the Temoku Gen Power series and the LG Genco series. The low voltage compressors on the other hand feature a voltage regulator and are also good with power saving and can be as slow as 100 watts in power rating. The only advantage they have over inverter compressors is the low voltage and stabilizer free operation although you'd also find this feature in inverter compressor devices. But low voltage compressors are designed to run effectively even in low voltage situations. Despite these features, the inverter compressors remain the most energy saving so far. When it comes to weight and size, the inverter compressors are 20% more compact than the regular type, weighing about 9.5 kg as opposed to the single speed compressors that weigh about 17.9 kg in weight. That means a fridge freezer or AC outdoor unit having single speed compressor would be 20% heavier than that of a low voltage or inverter compressor. When it comes to overall lifespan, the single speed or regular compressor does a lot of starting and stopping and starts at full speed. This causes a lot of wear on the compressor and other components of the refrigeration system. It's not so with inverter type which works slow and steady. For this reason, appliances with inverter compressor don't require much maintenance compared to their single speed counterparts. If you can't afford regular maintenance for these devices, avoid single speed compressors. Simply go for inverter or low voltage. In terms of durability and effects, appliances with single speed compressors would most likely develop leakages on the evaporator and the condenser as well. Over time, because of the sudden on and off operation, making it the least durable at this aspect. Also consider that the compressor itself would wear out over time because of the constant speed. But when it comes to electrical faults, it has the least electrical components, making the inverter type the most vulnerable. In a nutshell, if you use regular compressors, get ready to replace mechanical parts and patch leakages. But if you use inverter or low voltage type, get ready to replace PCB circuit boards. Anyway, electrical faults are quite rare compared to mechanical faults and wears, so the single speed guys are still the least durable with the shortest lifespan. So for the part of what we've been waiting for, which is the price. Well, when it comes to price, appliances with regular single speed compressors are cheaper and easier to manufacture as they contain less electronics with no voltage regulator, motor controller or inverter printed circuit board. On the other hand, the low voltage designs are a bit on the higher side while the inverter types are the most pricey of the three. The price difference can range from extra 20 to 60% for similar capacity. So if you own a holiday home or a fancy camper where you wouldn't be staying for a long time, you might want to consider appliances with single speed compressors. This is because it's more affordable and can deliver cooling fast. And since they wouldn't be running all the time, you wouldn't battle with maintenance costs. Just make sure you have good power supply. But for a home or a business that runs on a lean budget, especially with limited power supply or a phobia for electricity bills, go for appliances with inverter compressor type. They may be slightly more expensive while buying them, but like OLED TVs, they would save you tons of electricity bills and the maintenance guy wouldn't be your friend anymore. You'd basically kick him off your speed dial. Thirdly, if you stay in certain places, especially in Africa where there is unstable or low voltage situations from the grid, the low voltage compressor appliances have been designed specially for you. The unstable power situation wouldn't cause any damage to these appliances and they would function through the toughest power conditions. They would literally regulate the voltage themselves internally without the help of stabilizers and would do well with your generators as well. Talking about generators, inverter compressors also do well with smaller generators for those who use them. I've also added some of the toughest and the best inverter compressor powered devices from LG, Hisense, Temoco and few others on the description of this video. Like and subscribe for more buying advice, product reviews and comparisons. I'm Justin, bye bye.